Yesterday, the judge, uh, I think rightly so, identified major problems with both counts of the indictment. Uh, we're very encouraged by that. We think it's just another step in the process. Uh, with regard to count one, uh, it's clear that the judge had problems with it being vague and nonspecific. Uh, the judge mentioned, as you may recall, that the word veto or threat of veto is not even on the face of the indictment. And uh, the judge encouraged us, and we intend to do this, uh, file uh, paperwork to ferret that out, to flesh that out, because we think once the, the special prosecutor is, is required to put that in the face of the indictment, uh, we think that the uh, likelihood is, is that, will be, that will be quashed. Uh, with regard to count two, uh, the judge, as you know, upheld our objection uh, and has ordered this prosecutor to amend the, that count of the indictment. Uh, we don't think the prosecutor can do that. We don't think that he can demonstrate that there is, in fact, uh, uh, that the exception is not met because obviously Governor Perry, when he issued his veto, was part of a governing body. So we think, again, that that, that part of the indictment is fatally flawed and we're encouraged uh, by the judge, that, that the judge agreed with us that, that both counts of that indictment are simply, they just can't hold, hold up under law. And, and finally, one thing I'd like to mention is um, yesterday, if you read the 44-page opinion, uh, the judge made the statement that our arguments with regard to the constitutional issues were compelling, but in his view, they were premature. Now, we, of course, respectfully disagree with the judge on that part, and uh, we have filed a notice of appeal on that, and we expect that to go to the Third Circuit Court of Appeals where we can get that issue decided. We're going to continue on, and, and as a matter of fact, I'm just back from South Carolina uh, where we had great crowds and a lot of enthusiasm after I spent two days in Iowa with, uh, again, an opportunity to talk to people. And what I, you know, what I hear overwhelmingly from folks out there is great support for standing up for the Constitution. Uh, Americans are looking for a leader that is not afraid to stand up, not be intimidated. Uh, standing up for the rule of law and standing up for the United States Constitution is a good thing. And the people across this country are very supportive of that. So uh, we're moving right along as we uh, have intended to, and, and we'll make a decision and or actually make an announcement uh, is, a, is a better descriptive term in the uh, May-June timetable, just like we had intended to um, before this.